What's going on everybody? Platinum Beast coming at you with another video. Today's topic, the American Platinum Eagle. And a little known secret that you might not know if you have not been investing in platinum up until this point. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, guys, so everyone knows about the Silver Eagle and the Gold Eagle, and there's even a Palladium Eagle. I don't have one, <laughs> unfortunately, but there's an Eagle in all four of the main precious metals, and this one is the American Platinum Eagle. Now, this has been minted for around... 15 years or so, 15, 20 years. And it's been a popular coin amongst collectors for a while now, and its mintage varies. But its mintage always seems to be very low, much lower than the American Gold Eagle and definitely much lower than the American Silver Eagle. Now, when you're talking about mintages, you kind of have to just look at that as a numismatic part of the metal side and not so much a investment part because with investments you want as much as possible with numismatics you want as rare as possible but a little known secret about the american platinum eagle every year they come out with a new one this one's 2020 next year they'll be 2021 and so on and so forth and there's been ones in the past 2019 2018 all the way back to the beginning but one thing about the Platinum American Eagle is each year, the current year sells for less than previous years. So if you are a silver investor or even a gold investor, if you go on websites and stuff and you look for certain coins like a Eagle or a Maple or whatever, You'll notice that typically with silver and gold, if you choose the random year option, um, it'll be cheaper than choosing the current year. So if I go online right now in 2020 and look up the 2020 American Eagle, it's probably going to be a buck or two for silver more than it will be if I go for a random silver American Eagle. The reason for that is the year that people are buying is more important, I guess, to some than just having random eagles. They want a 2020, they're going to buy a 2020. The randoms are just a random pick of the lot. You can do the same thing with platinum eagles on most websites, uh, depending on whether or not they have them in stock. But like I said earlier, it's a very low mintage, and so most dealers kind of run out of it. And that's a key to the reason to what I'm about to say. The 2020 eagle always well not the 2020 eagle but the current year eagle always sells for less than the random year option reason being people have been chasing these things in past years who maybe got into the hobby late later and they've been chasing these things to get the each of the dates so buying a random year you have the chance of getting an earlier date or a lower mintage date than the current year. And on most of the dealer's websites, they'll list random year, but they'll list that the random year range ranges from like the beginning, the first year they minted, to a year before the current year. So they won't throw in, they won't throw you a 2020 if you go and buy a random year right now. They'll make it um, a... 2019 or before so but they'll raise that the it has a bit of a more of, of a premium than the current year the reason being they're just trying they got these fresh from the mint and they're just trying to send them off the ones that didn't sell or perhaps someone sold back to the dealer those are going to go for a higher premium because the mintage on these things each year is so low that they're kind of harder to find so it's always good to pick up an American Eagle each year, if you can afford it, I understand people's budgets are different. I've, I've said that in my past videos, but it's a good idea to pick up current year 
before you start diving into random year eagles. Because next year, your ego will, at the very least, gain some value just based on the fact that it is not current year eagle. This is an interesting fact about the platinum eagle. This is not the case in gold and silver. And again, the reason being is because the mintage is so low. The mintage on these things is very, very low. Like, I'm going to go ahead and kind of show y'all the mintage on these things just so you can get an idea of how low it is and how it's a good idea to pick these up at the current year because they usually sell for the less least the year that they were minted if you buy them in the current year. So, yeah, that's just an interesting little tidbit on the American Platinum Eagle. This is a solid coin backed by the U.S. government, and it is just it has been popular each year that they've released it. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that interesting point with you all on the American Platinum Eagle in case you were thinking about buying one or investing in one. Uh, I think it's a beautiful coin. I think the artist who designed it did a really good job with uh, showing Lady Liberty, and I love the eagle on the back. I just love that eagle soaring over the mountain. It's just such a beautiful sight to me. Another interesting fact about Platinum Eagle is it was the first American coin minted in $100. Even the American Gold Eagle is only minted in $50, so... <laughs> That's another interesting little tidbit on the Platinum Eagle. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the minage numbers on these bad boys, and uh, we'll get through. Okay, guys, so just wanted to show you real quick the mintage number on the Platinum American Eagles. Uh, you can find this at PlatinumEagleGuide.com. I'll leave a link for uh, this website in the description below so you can check it out. But uh, yeah... So basically, the Platinum American Eagle has been minted since 1997. And that first year, they had about five or uh, 56,000 um, one ounces, And they also minted the half and the quarter and the tenth during that year. Um, and pretty much ever since, they minted them. They stopped in 2008 uh, and then started back up in 2014. My guess is because... Um, of what happened in 2008 and then the economy just kind of not really taking off until 2014-ish and I believe that's right about when platinum hit a really big high so they probably thought well better bring it back <laughs> but yeah so there is a gap there in between 08 and 14 but here you can see the minage numbers for each of the years and uh this website only goes up to 2016, but there is a 2017, 18, 19, and now 20 uh, Eagle. But basically, as you can see here, each year has a pretty low mintage. Even like 27 or 2016 and 2008 is only 20,000 coins. That's very low for a bullion coin. Um, as you can see, that's just... That's a really low number, so that's why the random year category uh, sells for a lot less. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys these mintage numbers. I think they're pretty amazing, and I think that they really say that these coins are collectible. Even though they're bullion, they're a pretty collectible uh, series of coins. There's, there's a lot of people out there that like these coins and collect these coins and pay a premium for these coins depending on the year, especially if you get one of the lower years like 05, 06 or something like that, or even like the first year, um, you'll always get a bit more of a premium. But that's why it's a good idea to pick up a Platinum Eagle if you can for the current year you're in and just hold on to it. If you got to sell something, sell something else, wait a few years, wait till these years start going by and then sell for even more of a profit. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. And um, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. Um, I'll be posting more videos soon. So I hope you guys will check those out. And uh, if you have any comments or questions or anything, just leave them in the comments section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.